How we doing everybody? This is That Our Nerd coming at you with a very fast video on how to make a great reproducible example in R. So uh, what we're gonna use, you're just gonna need the ggplot2 library. Um, just if you're following along uh, with the graph at the end, you don't, you don't need it for the reproducible example, but uh, pretty much all you need to do is set the seed, right? So you do a set.seed, you can put whatever number in here. I'll just do 2020 since it's uh, that's the year that we're in. Uh, but but anyways, you, you just need to set a seed, right? And to show what's going on here, we're gonna do an R norm, right? So this is gonna be a random normal variable with a mean of zero and a standard deviation of one. And we're gonna have it pick 10 values from that, right? So each time we run this, we can see down here in the output that we get a uh, we get different results every time that we run it. So we'll run it a few times, right? Different results every time because it's doing a random uh, generation. However, if you set the seed, then you're going to get the same output every time that you do it, right? So if we take a look at that, we get uh, these numbers here. I'm, I'm not going to read them. Uh, but if we run it again, right? Let's run that chunk again. Um, we get the same output every time, no matter how many times that we run it. If we're running that with the seed, we'll get the same the same output, right? So each time you run the seed, you get the same output. And even if you have a whole chunk of random stuff that's going on, um, it's gonna be the same each time, right? So let's say we do another R norm 10, and we'll just do another R norm 10, <clears throat> right? For each of these, it's gonna be a little bit different, right? So we get the same first one that we had above, but the second one's now the same, and the third one's now the same. Right, and so if we run this chunk again with the seed, this first chunk is going to be the same as it was up here, right? Second chunk's the same as it was up here, and the third chunk's the same, right? So even though it's it's not the same ten numbers each of the three times there, it's the same uh, in the same order. <laughs> the, you you know what I'm saying? You you can see it here. You know, you know what I'm trying to say there. All right. So if we're trying to do a reproducible uh, example, right? So let's Let's uh, turn this into a data frame. So we'll do a data dot frame. We'll say values <clears throat> is equal to this. Right, so we'll take a look at our data frame. So now we get the same, well, we didn't set the seed, so we don't get the same. Move that down there. Right, if we, if we remember what we had before, right, we had this, and so we had 0 0.376, 0 0.301, um, and so forth, right? So now if we look at our data frame, we have 0.376, we have 0 0.03, right? So it's putting the same thing into our data frame now um, because we're setting that seed. And we can uh, do a ggplot. So we'll do a data frame. Uh, we'll pipe that into a ggplot. Uh, you might need the tidyverse actually for these pipes. So maybe we'll just get rid of it, even though it's better. Uh, so we'll do ggplot. We want to do the uh, data frame into the ggplot. We need a AES and, uh, to say what uh, we want our x-axis to be, and that's going to be values, right? I think we, yep, we saved it as values. Okay, <clears throat> and then we'll do a plus. We'll do a geom histogram, and we'll set the number of bins equal to 10 because it defaults to 30, and that's not going to look good with only 10 data points. So, uh, now that we're here, we'll take a look at our graph, and it looks like this. All right, so again, if we don't set the seed, every time we run this chunk, it's going to look different. All right, we're going to get a different histogram. However, if we set the seed, we're going to be able to make a reproducible example where every single time you're going to get the same histogram. So there it is. Uh, that's, that's it. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like so other people can find it. Um, subscribe if you want more of the best R content that there is on the planet. It's right here, baby, <laughs> on, on that R Nerds channel. Uh, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.